Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you one of my favorite quick, simple, and easy hairstyles. It's just a plain twisted braid. It's not really a braid, but you'll see how I do it. But it's really quick. It takes me five minutes to do. It is my favorite thing to do when I'm busy, short on time, going to school, or traveling. And today I'm about to travel to New York. So I want to show you guys my hairstyle for when I'm about to get on a plane or when I'm busy. So if you're out there looking for a really quick hairstyle that's going to look really nice and put together, then this one is for you. Let's go ahead and get started. So what you're going to need is your favorite hairbrush, some texturizing spray if you want to use some, and a couple of these little elastic ties. These are by Con Air, and I just got them at Walgreens and it's just the really really little ones like this. So first thing you want to do is to just brush out your hair and if you want, this is where you can apply the texturizing spray. And I already sprayed a lot of it in. My favorite is the Way Hair Care Texturizing Hairspray. It smells amazing and it holds your style while giving it some nice texture, volume, and body. So you can start off with your hair in a side part or a middle part. I always usually like to wear my hair in a side part when I do braids. So I just went ahead and did a quick side part, but my hair was already like this before I started. So I'm going to start with the elastics. So you start with one and grab the hair pretty tight and put it in the first elastic. Then what you want to do is to make a hole in the ponytail above the elastic, not below and take the rest of the ponytail and flip it through. And you can flip this any way you want, but I like to flip it inwards like this. So if I zoom in, it starts to create a twist right there. And then kind of just loosen it up so that you don't see the hole. And that is the first part of this twist. And next, you're just going to go ahead and keep going with as many twists as you want to. I like to do a lot of them because it makes it look like a nice little fishtail braid. And I'll show you, if you want to take all the elastics out, how that will look as well. So this is my favorite simple hairstyle to do. I think it looks super cute. And I also like to flip it in because it creates a twist right here in the front of your hair. So it's like a nice little addition to the other twists that you have. So next elastic, I'm going to create a hole and pull the ponytail through. And then I'm going to tighten this one up a little bit to make it really big and thick. And then of course loosen it up so you don't see the hole. And then just keep going. And this literally takes me such a short amount of time to do. and flip through and then tighten that up just one right at the bottom and flip this through and once you get the hang of it you can start moving faster and faster and create the braids how you want them to look so this cute and simple hairstyle is what I literally do for school, for work, if I'm running late and I want a nice put together hairstyle, but I don't have that much time to do it. This literally took me like two minutes to do. Now I like a more put together look if you like to like pull out some of your hairs on the side and make it a little bit more messy, then of course that would look amazing as well. I just like to have it more put together because I know that sometimes it'll just come apart anyway. My hair gets frizzy or like flyaways will come out. So it does it on its own. But if you like that look, just go ahead and like pull out some hairs and mess it up a little bit and make it thicker. Just, you know, customize it to the way that you like to do it. This is your hairstyle and this is for you guys. So let me know if you try this out and what you think about it. Also, if you use a texturizing spray before, this is the part where you can take out the elastics carefully and you can have a really nice twisted flowing look instead of the elastics breaking up every single one. So if you have enough texturizing spray for it to stay, then gently start to slide out the elastics. So I'm just going to slide them out very 
slowly so that I don't interrupt any of the braided parts. And then this top one right here, just slide it to the bottom. So then it looks nice and put together without the elastics in. This usually stays for me if I use enough texturizing spray, but if you know that your hair doesn't really hold styles like this, then I wouldn't suggest it. I'd keep the elastics in. So if you're worried about if your hair would tangle with all the twists and stuff going on, then don't worry. Mine brushes out easily every single time. Whether it's my real hair, my irresistible me clip-ins, or anything like that, it comes out so nice and smooth. So don't worry about the twist. This comes out easily. So I would love to know what you guys think of this look. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you try it out with the elastics or without and which way you like better. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned for more videos on this channel. And this makeup look that I have on right now is my super minimal makeup look. It's a quick makeup routine for busy people that's gonna be over on my channel if you wanna go ahead and check that out. So this is a corresponding hairstyle for my busy girls out there who want to look put together but don't have much time, I got y'all. So go ahead and check that out as well. And as always, I hope you guys feel beautiful inside and out today because you are. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.